This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're going to drink some Two Roads Brewing Workers' Comp Cezanne. Cezanne is a style that was traditionally brewed in France and Belgium, farmhouse ale it's called sometimes. It tends to be kind of spicy with nice yeast, typically small batches brewed in the winter, bottled, and you would drink it over the summer. It's a style that was pretty much gone for a while, but the craft beer movement has brought it back. And it's, a, it's an interesting beer, it's an interesting style, because I said it's, it's, it's not a Belgian ale, but it's got some of the same characteristics with the spicy, peppery type things. I'm looking at the drink dive date on this. If I'm reading this right, it's 9-3-14. So, um, Two Roads is down in Stanford, Connecticut. Probably the biggest brewery in Connecticut. They've been around, I don't know, maybe three years now. They just came out of nowhere, built a big factory. They got huge capacity. They do a lot of contract brewing and they brew a lot of their own beer. And they're really going out there gung-ho. It's a first class operation. And I said Stanford, it says here Stratford. Sorry guys. And uh, I guess at this point, let's give it a crack and see what we got. Always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. And go ahead and leave comments. And I thought a lot of these were typically bottle conditioned. This one doesn't look like it because it's just perfectly clear. You can see right through it. It's a fairly dark yellow. Looks actually looks like a nice Pilsner or a lager. I'm really surprised at the color. I, usually I expect the Saison to be a little bit orangier and typically cloudy. Bright white head on it. Uh, fair amount of carbonation. Let's take a aroma. You get a little of that banana. It does smell like the I'm getting a malt. And it almost smells a little bit like a lager. Um, supposedly this one has, besides barley, it also has wheat, rye, and oats in it which again would be a fairly traditional recipe or a malt bill for a Saison. A little bit of that coriander. A little bit of orange. Second time through, it actually smells more like a, it actually smells like a Belgian white. It really does. So let's give it a taste. You get the banana. Ice cream truck's going by. I'm going to wait a minute and edit it out. So you get the banana. You get a little bit of spice, uh, I don't want to say black pepper, but something, you know, like on a tongue. It's a fairly dry mouthfeel. It's drying at the end. Just a hint of bitter at the end. A little bit of malt. You get the malt, you get that bready at the back end and not at the front end like a lot of other beers. The banana's up front, the spice is up front, the malt is in the back end. It's a nice little beer. It, it does what it's, you know, it's, it's a Saison. I say it's a Saison for the masses. It's not an over the top, tricked up, hopped up Saison, but it's a nice Saison, for lack of a better word, a gateway Saison. You never had one. Go ahead and give it a try. It's not as, it doesn't have that um, as rounded smoothness taste as a, as a Belgian, you know, the Blue Moon. But um, So it's a little bit sharper at the, at the back end. Again, when I was talking about on the aroma of the lager. So it's got a little bit of a sharper on the back end. Uh, so it's a definitely, it's a different malt bill than what you get from the Blue Moons, Shock Tops, and that ilk. But this is a nice beer. Um, is it a world beater? No. Is it good? Is it drinkable? Refreshing? Uh, it's a hot summer day out here today. Everything you'd want in a beer? Dead on. Great, 
great job in that respect. You don't always want to have your socks knocked off. Sometimes you just want to sit and drink a beer with friends and enjoy it. And this is a beer that you can do that with. So we'll give it a... Oh, I'm thinking out loud here. We'll give it a... This is a good beer. I'm going to give it an 87 out of 100. So it's a B+. Till next time, keep drinking.